Hello, everybody. A couple of weeks ago, post 22 rolled past post 320, 18 to nothing. This evening, the two teams hit the diamond for round two. A big crowd on hand to watch the battle of the parking lot at Fitzgerald Stadium for the first inning. Post 22's Harrison Good hits one well to left. Now the ball bounces over the left fielder's head and gets to the wall. That's going to be trouble. Jace Morgan comes in to score. Good made it all the way over to third. Hayden Holick then hits a grounder to third. Now the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Runner is safe. Harrison Good crosses the plate as the hard ads put up a two spot in the first. Second inning, post 320s. Tyson Heinzman goes the other way, lines a pitch into left field. Now the ball scoots away there. Heinzman holds on at second, but the Stars were unable to bring him around. With a runner on third, post 22's Aiden Roberts drives one into right field. Ben Dressler makes a catch out there. His throw home is on the money to get the runner, but this game belongs to the Hard Hats as they win it 10 to nothing over post 320. At the state track meet, Brandon Valley leads the double-A uh, boys uh, team race. Sturgis is second. The Brandon Valley girls also lead with Steven second. In Class A, the Sioux Falls Christian and Custer boys and girls are both first and second in the team race. Off to Class B, where the Freeman Academy, Marion and Dubrick boys are tied for first. Phillip and Wall are tied for seventh. The Dubrick girls are out in front with Lemon ninth. The Sasquatch opened their season by falling to Casper 12 to 6 tonight in an arena football. The Marshals lost to the Washington Wolfpack on the road 76 to 20. The Stevens baseball team opens up play at the state tournament in Sioux Falls tomorrow. Here's more on the Raiders. For the first time in school history, the Stevens baseball team is headed to the state tournament and head coach Malloy Dial has a strong all around squad. A strong pitching always starts with strong pitching um, and strong defense. Like you can't get off the field, you can't get to bat, right? And so, but the, the, the surprise this year is how well we've hit. We've got uh, quite a few kids hitting home runs and triples and doubles, a lot of power. Um, but the, the defense definitely is our strength and uh, with the offense has made a really good year. The main focus for us was offense, but I think we've always kind of fallen back on defense. It's just kind of being something that we, you know, we're strong with and we feel confident that we'll play good keep the runs down, keep the base runners, free base runners down too. Um, I think defense is usually where we fall back to. The Raiders have accomplished some impressive feats this season, and they are trying to treat State like any other game. We don't treat it any different. We, it's another game in front of us. you got to take one pitch at a time, take one out at a time. Um, where we play is just another field, but we got to enjoy the moment. I mean, it is different. It's the state tournament. Um, we're playing on a really nice field, um, so we're excited to get there and enjoy the, the atmosphere, and uh, hopefully we do well. Stevens has racked up an impressive 17-5 record this season and will take on 14-5 O'Gorman in Friday's opening round. Gorman, um, they're a good team. They hit the ball well. They got a couple of really good players, a couple of all-staters. And, uh, you know, but we hold our own against them. We played them tough last year. We didn't get a chance to play them this year. We got rained out. Um, but I think it's going to be a really good game. It's going to come down to really who doesn't make the mistake. No, I feel like we're very grateful. You know, this is a group of kids that have been playing together since a lot of us have been playing together since we were about nine. Some of us since T-ball. So it's just kind of a cool moment to just play with your buddies that you've been playing with your whole life at this kind of this level, the state level in front of everybody, you know. Best of luck to the Stevens baseball team at the state tournament. NBA playoffs tonight. Celtics beat the Pacers 126 to 110 to take a two games to none series lead. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back.